Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to go from data ingestion to data visualization. We are going to be using Apache hoodie which brings database functionality to data lakes. We are going to be using min.io as our object store. Then we are going to be using star rocks to query our hoodie uh, data at a lightning uh, fast speed. And last but not the least we are going to use Apache superset to visualize our data. So all of that in this video. This video utilizes Docker to spin up all the stack and shows you step-by-step -step approach on how to get started with all of these technology. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. All right, so now let's get uh, started, right? So again, now first step is you would clone the project directory from the GitHub. This will have all the materials and code inside, right? So when you do clone that, uh, CD into the directory, and then uh, you will see a Docker compose file. Now this Docker compose file will have a star rocks FE, star rocks BE container, it will have a Postgres, a Hive Metastore and a MinIO container again. Okay? So what we'll do is over here, we'll come to the project directory, right? And then we'll issue the command docker compose up hyphen hyphen build minus D. Uh, this will start all the containers running on my local machine. So as you can see, all the containers are now in the running state. I just wanna show you if I go to containers, all the six containers are now in running state. So that's that. Now this next step is we need to create a bucket on Minio, which is an object store, right? So we are gonna do that. So we come here, go to localhost 9000. And now when you come to here, the username is gonna be admin and the password will be password and click on login. Uh, of course you can toggle on the theme here. Uh, that, that's pretty cool though. Uh, click on buckets, uh, click on create buckets, and we can name this bucket as hoodie test. Now we have a bucket to play with. Now, so you, you basically spend up the stack using Docker Compose, you went to localhost 9000, created an S3 bucket, and then there's a Python file, which will create a hoodie transactional data lake. So let's take a look at the process. All right, so again, this Python file is relatively very easy. Again, I'll, I'll give you an overview quickly. Again, here we define some imports. Then here we define the Spark version and the hoodie version. We create the Spark session over here. Then we set these variables. Uh, for example, the access key uh, for Minio is admin. The secret key for Minio is password. The S3A endpoint, we set that particular up here, right? After that, we have a function which will generate some fake data using a library called Faker. We generate a Spark data frame object. We have a function called write to hoodie, which will write the data into hoodie transactional data lake. Here you can see the path, S3A a colon slash slash hoodie test. This is the bucket on our min.io. These are the options that we're gonna use for hoodie. We define the primary key, we define uh, the dedupe key, we define how we wanna partition our data. We are using a hive sync. As you can see, hive sync mode is set to HMS. Here we provide the thrift, thrift uh, hive metastore thrift uh, URL, right? So again, it's running on the Docker container, so hence thrift colon slash slash localhost 9083. And again, we then perform a write operation on hoodie transaction layer like. And at the end of the function, basically or the code, we call the function write to hoodie. We pass in the database name. So I'm saying that, hey, the database name is gonna be default. The table name is gonna be customer. I pass in the record key. I pass in the precom key. I pass in the partition field. Now, all of that is great. Now what we can do is we can come here and we can run this Python file. So I'll say Python 3 hoodie job uh, sync py and this will take a while. Now as you can see it's creating a Spark session, right? And uh, then it's gonna generate a Spark data frame object. I think it already did. As you can see here, that's a data frame object. And now it's writing the data into our MinIO buckets. Okay, so that looks good. Now if I go to Minio and if I head over to the object browser and click on hoodie test, here you can see hoodie, database name, table name. I have all the partitions in Hive style format. Uh, I can click one, I can see the hoodie metadata. I can also see the parquet file. So great, right? So, so far so good. So we went inside, we spinned up the containers, we created a Minio bucket, we created a hoodie transactional data lake. Now let's take a look at the star rocks and then the Apache superset part. So back to my screen again, uh, 
I'll, again, all these steps are given, so hopefully it shouldn't be a problem for you. So come to the containers over here, and then you click on Star Rocks FE, okay? And then click on XX. So here we are inside the container. And now we'll, we'll basically issue a command here. Let me uh, scroll up. Uh, over here, yeah. So MySQL, I'm just gonna copy this. As you can see, we, we see the prompt for Star Rocks, right? Now we're gonna create our external uh, catalog. We're gonna name the catalog as Hoodie Catalog. Type is gonna be Hoodie. The, the, the Metastore type is gonna be Hive. We provide in uh, the Hive uh, Metastore URI. We provide in the MinIO uh, uh, access, secret key, the region, etc. right? So hopefully made sense. So you can simply come and copy here. And then again, head over here. As you can see, we see an okay over here, right? Uh, let me, okay. And then what we will do is we're gonna set the catalog to hoodie, hoodie catalog HMS, and then we're gonna use the default. And now uh, I can just do show tables. Here you can see the table customers, right? And now I can query my hoodie transactional data like, so select star. Let me uh, make this a little, hopefully you guys can see the font size, okay? So now it's gonna query my hoodie transactional data like, as you can see, I see the output. I should have done a limit query there, but, uh, and now if you query this again, as you can see, now it takes 0.12 seconds. If I, oops, I think I made a typo there. If I do it again, 0.10 seconds, right? So it's also caching it behind the scenes as well. So, so far so great, right? We, we spin up all the containers, uh, right? Then we created a Minio bucket, then we build our own transactional data lake. Uh, we learn how to query data using Star Rocks. Now let's learn how we can visualize this data into, again, open source uh, tools such as Apache Superset. So now we're gonna take a look at that particular process. So the first step to get started with Superset is you need to clone the repository. So you can come to this GitHub project click on the drop down over here and here you will see uh, the URL. Simply copy that and issue a command git clone space the URL and the repository will be cloned on your computer. I, again, I have already done the, the, the cloning part and I can probably show you, give me one sec. Uh, over here, okay. As you can see my superset uh, over here, it's a little hard to see, but again, I, I do have it in my computer, okay? So now uh, what we will do is, again, I wanna tell you one couple of steps here, right, with Superset. So if you're using Mac and if you're using uh, M1 or M2, it's a little tricky, it doesn't work. So for if you guys are working on Mac, then this is exactly what, we, what you need to do. So I'm gonna probably share my screen. Okay, so now to run the, the, the Apache Superset, uh, let me see, let me co co collapse this, okay. So the first thing that you need to do is you would have to say this one, export docker underscore default underscore platform. So we're gonna set this environment variable to Linux slash AMD 64, okay? And then you will run docker compose minus F, docker compose hyphen non hyphen dev dot YML. So this is the docker file we have to run, not the regular one, okay? So coming here, and then I can just add minus D, which means it's gonna run in the background. So now this will take time. Again, it's gonna, um, you know, start my Apache Superset running locally. So if I probably go to my Docker, again, as you can see, I have uh, my uh, Superset container now in the running state. Give it a couple of seconds because it will, you know, it has to run some, uh, you know, initialization script. So give it a couple of seconds and then we'll basically take a look at the process on how to connect star rocks to superset. All right, so let's take a look at the superset part. So if you head over to localhost 8088-8088 and then put the username as admin and the password as admin and click on sign in, you would see this beautiful UI uh, of Apache superset. Here you have these tabs, you can navigate, right? Uh, you can click on dashboards. They have some pre-built dashboards here already. For example, this one, look how beautiful it is, right? This is simply so, Fantastic, right? Um, also, the thing that I like about Superset is the SQL lab. This reminds me of Athena, right? You have the left window where you select your, uh, you know, database, uh, you see all your tables and the schema, you have your query window and the result window on the bottom section. So I, I really like, it reminds me a lot of Athena here, okay? 
So all right. So now to connect, uh, you know, to connect basically now your Hodi data through Star Rocks. What we will do is basically first uh, we need to install uh, pip install Star Rocks, and I'll tell you where you need to do that. Okay. So okay. So go to your containers. Uh, use Docker Desktop. It's just a bit easy, you know. Click on Apache Superset underscore app. Click on exec, and then just do pip install Star Rocks. Okay. Now once that is done. What we need to do is basically, if you go to the home page of uh, Superset, you would see this uh, settings over here, click on that, and then here you will see database connection. Once you're on the database connection, click on database, and then here, choose Star Rocks. Now for the SQL Alchemy URI, what we will do, I need to explain you something here. So we have our uh, we have our Minio, Postgres, uh, Hive Mera stores, and Star Rocks running in one container. Oh, okay, over here in this block, and then we have our Superset running in this container. Now they both need to talk to each other, right? So uh, similar to Ngrok, right? Ngrok allows you to create a temporary public URL, right? I'm gonna be doing something similar. So what I'll do, uh, I'm gonna basically use Servo, right? I'm gonna do that and I'll basically forward these ports, okay? So what I'll do, so this will forward my port 9030, 8030, and 8040, right? So the servo has started, as you can see. Now, I can basically, instead of using like localhost, I can use a, a, a domain here, right? So here you can see I choose like abc.servo.net, right? And then again, similar, right? The username is root. So this is my SQL Alchemy URI. It starts with the word star rocks. The username i do not have a password so again i didn't give it and this is the the the, the domain that we we, we want to use and then this is the catalog name and uh, the, the the database name right so hopefully it makes sense so i copy this come here and now you can you know paste this one here and then you can click on test connection you can basically click on the test connection and it should give you like you know everything worked fine as you can see the connection looks good so which means now you have uh, created the connection successfully, okay? So now, yeah, now you can, you know, start querying, right? Just like Athena, I mean, it reminds me a lot of Athena, this one, the SQL tab, right? So now on the drop down, you can select Star Rocks over here, right? And in the schemas, uh, let's just refresh. Uh, I see my default one, perfect. And I should see my customer data. Hopefully, so let's wait for a second. Again, everything is running locally on Docker, so it's a little bit slow, which is okay, right? So I'm gonna click here, again, customers, as you can see here, oops, right? So now uh, it's loading, as you can see over here. Again, uh, so we got the complete stack working locally, right? We have our Minio container, which where our hoodie transactional data lake is. We have our super set, right? As you can see over here, and then you can start building blazing fast, beautiful dashboards. So here you can see, I can see the schema, right? Uh, again, right, makes sense, right? So now I can say, hey, select star. Has autocomplete too, I, I really like that. Select star from customers, right? Uh, and then I can do semicolon from the SQL over here. It's, it's beautiful, see they have this loading, uh, uh, you know, icon, and then of course you see your hoodie transactional data, data like, Again, fantastic, right? Like, look at it, right? We have our Minio, we have our Apache hoodie, which is managing all the metadata, and you know, and then we have our superset where we are visualizing the data. So that's about it, right? This is an end-to-end -end video, uh, which shows everything, right? It's all open source, right? Uh, we used Minio to store our uh, data. We use hoodie, which brings database functionality to data lakes, right? Uh, we use Star Rocks to query our data at a lightning fast uh, speed. And then we use Superset to basically visualize that data. So thank you so much for the video. Uh, I know there were a couple of steps in the video and hence I will make sure I'll post all the detailed steps on my LinkedIn blog. You will see everything mentioned step by step. So you can just simply copy paste, copy paste, copy paste and uh, get started with the stack uh, fast. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed. If you believe I've done a fantastic job, a like would be fantastic and a sharing the video with your coworkers and colleagues would be amazing. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming and I will be seeing you in the next video.